There are multiple ways to complete this checkpoint, so I'm going to give you a couple of them. The first option is to ride to the base of the ramp and stop. Give your front wheel a little bit of space to move as you don't want to be hitting the ramp. From a seated position, lean backwards, accelerate and quickly lean forward. You'll see the front wheel lift up and leaning forward will get you positioned correctly on the steeper ramp. If you get enough speed, you should be able to lean forward so your weight is over the handlebars and simply roll forward. If you want to try a different approach, again get to the base of the ramp in a seated position and lean backwards while accelerating. Lean forward to meet the ramp, but this time apply the gas more gently and sit back on the bike to land on the second piece of the ramp. Steady yourself and while remaining seated, accelerate hard. When your front wheel lifts up, lean forward again and this should also get you to the checkpoint. The challenge with this checkpoint is that you have to maintain speed and get enough height to clear the second ramp. The easiest way to do this is to bounce on your rear wheel after performing a small bunny hop at the start. However, if you're struggling with that, I'd suggest that you perform a bunny hop at about 60% speed and land with your front wheel first on the small ramp. Perform a strong consecutive bunny hop by releasing the pressure built up in the rear suspension and adjust your bike position to ensure your rear wheel hits the upper ramp while you're seated. As your rear wheel hits the upper ramp, lean forward to maintain your momentum and accelerate up the ramp and over the gap. Start by leaning forward. Quickly lean backwards while accelerating, then lean forward to perform a bunny hop. Stay leaning forward when you hit the ramp and accelerate. This should be enough to get you over the ramp and just remember to adjust your riding position to land safely. From a neutral position, transition into the ramp at full speed. Continue leaning forward and applying the gas and you'll make it over in one motion. Be sure to begin the transition when your front wheel hits the small wooden curved ramp and ideally you want to just touch the rear wheel on the barrels at the top to give you a little boost to clear the final gap. You shouldn't need to lean backwards, but you may find that letting go of leaning once in the air will stop you rotating forwards. Like we taught you in the flat obstacles lesson, perform a bunny hop and rotate backwards so your rear wheel and bike frame hit the edge of the concrete. Start from a neutral position and perform a bunny hop. When you lean forward as part of the bunny hop, stay in that position and continue to lean forward and your momentum will be enough to get you over. If you don't make it, it's because your bunny hop wasn't high enough. Try again and this time lean slightly more backwards when loading the rear suspension as this will give you a bit more bounce. From a seated position, accelerate all the way to the top of the ramp. Lean backwards and you should see your front wheel lift up. When you're near the end of the ramp, lean forward and this bunny hop motion will generate the height you need to get over the barrel. From a seated position, perform a bunny hop, land in an endo, then perform a front flip and land in a fender grab. Catch yourself, rotate over the checkpoint, balance on your back wheel for a bit, and then you're done. I'm oh, sorry, that was, that was just me showing off for a bit, but I wanted to show you what's possible. So from a neutral position, accelerate while leaning backwards to lift up your front wheel. When your rear wheel is close to the edge, lean forward and perform a bunny hop, then sit back on your bike. If you're not getting enough height at this point, it's because you've bunny hopped too soon and didn't use all of the ramp. Manage your rotation in the air so that you only land on your rear wheel at about a 45 degree angle. Like we discussed in the rear wheel bounce lesson in game, when your rear wheel hits and the suspension is fully loaded, press forward to perform another bunny hop. If you time that right, it should be enough to get you past this one.
start by leaning forward. Accelerate at 100% up the ramp. When you're in the air, about halfway between the ramp and the machinery, lean forward. Lean enough so that your front wheel lands first and that it rolls a little bit along the equipment before your rear wheel touches it. It's crucial that your rear wheel is high enough when your front wheel lands. If your rear wheel doesn't smoothly hit the flat section and power you along, you can't make the distance. Practice this front wheel roll a bit until you feel comfortable. Put this together in one smooth run and it's a very easy checkpoint. Ride in a seated position until your front wheel is at the base of the ramp. Lean backwards hard while accelerating at 100%, then quickly lean forward. Try to avoid hitting your front wheel on the truck and continue to lean while you're in the air. Depending on the angle you get, you may need to sit back on the bike to land, but this technique is all about timing the bodyweight shift to get your momentum going forward. If you're looking for an easy way through this one, drop down and roll backwards to the truck. Lean forward and accelerate at 100%, but as you get past the checkpoint marker, stop leaning. This will be enough for your front wheel to lift slightly and you'll make it over the checkpoint. If you're looking for a faster and more advanced approach, accelerate at about 50% onto the dirt ramp while in a seated position. When you land and compress the rear suspension, lean forward to perform a bunny hop like how we've approached it in the consecutive bunny hops lessons in game. When the load on the rear suspension is at its peak, lean forward then stop leaning and this will get the front wheel high enough to make it over. Then you simply adjust your bike position to safely land and complete the checkpoint. If your throttle control is good, lean forward and land on the upper ramp. Manage the throttle so that you roll back and stop. When you accelerate, stop leaning for a brief moment and let the front wheel lift, then lean forward again. This small adjustment to your body weight is enough to get you over the barrel. If throttle control isn't your strength, you'll have to do this in one motion. From a seated position, accelerate slowly and build up to about 70%. What you should focus on is how you land the first jump. Ideally, you're looking to have your rear wheel only hit with the front wheel slightly elevated. When you land, the rear suspension will compress and you can then lean forward to clear the barrel. This will only work when your front wheel is in the air. Find the sweet spot and you'll clear this easily. Here, you'll have to perform a rear wheel bounce, and to make it even more difficult, you'll have to do that on a round object. Start with a strong bunny hop and rotate backwards quite a bit. When your rear wheel hits, your momentum often makes your front wheel dip down, so you have to lean backwards enough to compensate for that. Land on your rear wheel and allow the rear suspension to compress. When it's at its maximum compression, lean forward and bounce to victory. Timing is everything, so you'll likely make lots of mistakes, so just keep at it. The other thing to pay attention to is the barrel. You'll want to use the upper portion of the barrel, and you'll want your rear wheel to hit the front top section of it for best results. Hit it too low or too far on the other side, and you won't have enough to get over. So hopefully you found that useful and if you've got any suggestions or questions or anything you want to discuss leave some notes in the comments and I'm happy to address them later on. Uh, what I'm going to do now is actually play through a replay that I did while I was recording this tutorial just so you get a feel for not only how I approach the different techniques but how I've linked some of them together because that's one of the, the evolutions of this right. My, my tutorials are about getting you to just pass each checkpoint one by one. But as your skills progress, what you really need to start doing is transitioning from one jump to the other, connecting those lines, planning your landing so you're in the right you know, bike and body position to enable you to connect the next jump and to be in the right spot to continue, uh, to continue on. 
that's really where this game gets fun. So uh, yeah, watch the rest of this, let me know what you like, and uh, if you want any other videos or any uh, guidance on any parts of the game, let me know. Thanks.